Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm coming to you from my disaster of a craft room. Everything has been shifted around to make space for my home office, but it'll get back to normal eventually. So I'm not too worried about this space, but today we're gonna open all of those blind bags that I bought from the Dollar Tree a while back. I have 17 of them and we're gonna open them all and see what's in them. Obviously, we're not going to the Dollar Tree right now to go buy more. I don't think I've seen any either. We're going to use this bucket to do it in because I've got work stuff all over the place in my house. And I have crazy hair because I'm giving my hair a break from all the products. So it's going to be a little odd. I have my Dallas Cowboy Cup. No, I'm not a fan, but I'm a Zeke Elliott fan. Iced tea. Yeah, so I'm on my, I'm on a little break and I thought we could get this done. I hope you all are doing extremely well and aren't going crazy. Like I am, because I think I'm losing my marbles. All right, let's open up some blind bags. All right, we're gonna use this. And I have a whole basket over here and I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff. So this is the fingerlings one of them. I think there's two in here. Fingerlings. Um, should I cut them open, I suppose, and be like civilized about it and not just rip them? Sure. Okay. So in the fingerlings bag comes what? Okay. You get Oh, a bracelet, a ring, or a charm. I guess it's a charm for the bracelet. And then a little tiny fingerling. Look at that, guys. Oh, that is adorbs. And I think you could probably hang it off the jewelry. But what I'm going to do is attach it to my work pen. Do I have a work pen? I don't know. See if it'll go on my pen. It will. Ooh, well, it will. I just have to open his little hands up. It'll go on there. How adorable is that? So that's your fingerling little guy. And there are 12. And this one is Jenny. I got it. I got your picture on my wall. Okay, I may have went a little nuts though. And Jenny, it says she's rare. Who knew? Jenny, you're rare. Okay, the next one that we've got is trolls. We like trolls, right? Who doesn't like a, oh, maybe I better not cut that. I was hitting hair. Oh, oh my God. How adorable. Is this troll? Do you guys remember trolls when we were little? This one is adorable. So you get your troll, you get a warning that it's a choking hazard, and then you get their names. And I don't know what his name is. I don't know, but we got this guy here. I will tell you, his hair is falling out all over the place. He might need a little like bow. I might have to get a little bow for his hair. There we go. How adorable is that? These are going to be great like little desk things. Now we got, this is a Greenbrier. Yeah, Greenbrier. And there's three zombies in here. I know that because I gifted this to somebody at Christmas time in my department because I knew she would love them and she does. We're not going to build them right here, but what you get, so if you've got a couple kids, this is great. Directions and then each zombie comes in its own little bag, right? And then each of them has their own sticker. But you could share this with the three kids or two kids or do one at a time. I'm not going to build them right this second. But I'll definitely keep them here to build them. 
All right, this one is something I've had for a little while. I got it at Target's Dollar Spot last Halloween, but I never opened it. Oh, how fun. So it's a cat ring, and then you put this light in it, and it lights up. And they're black cats, of course. So I have four of those. And you just break these like glow sticks. These were fun from the Target dollar spot. Okay. Transformers. We'll just do it this way. So I'm not cutting into stuff. And this is a... It says collect them all. It's a wall walker. Okay. So he's goofy and his hands are sticky. So we won't take this out. But this would be super fun for any little guy girl you put it on the wall and it like crawls down the wall how fun is that and they're pretty decent the middle here is gooey and then the hands are that sticky sticky stuff and speaking of sticky we have a hot wheels slime flicky car, oh, slime and flick car or rally car let's see what this looks like this is fun stuff, too, for, like, Easter baskets. All right, well, here's this package of slime. And here's your car. Oh, that is an adorable little car. You can open that. We're not opening slime, guys. Oh, how tiny. It's a cute little Hot Wheels. It is adorable. And I think you're supposed to like, well, there's supposed to be a, and I didn't get it. Oh, this must be a pullback one. Yeah. It's a pullback car. So what you do is you lay your slime on the counter, pull it back, and it drives through the slime. Uh, any little person would like that. That is adorable. And it has a little Hot Wheels logo on it. How cute. Somebody's going to have a lot of fun with this stuff. A Polly Pocket, which this is, I think, 90s age stuff, 90s era. But it's all food related. Now, I could see in here what this is, but what you have is a little bucket, a ring. And then look at this little tiny Polly. Remember Polly Pockets? Uh, my nieces had Polly Pockets. Okay, but she's like gummy rubbery. Huh. Yeah, so you get a little bucket. I think she could oops, probably go in the bucket. Like squeeze her in there. And she could hang out in your bucket. Or she could sit in your car. <laughs> So we have a little Polly Pocket. These are super fun for little people that enjoy, you know, the blind bags. Uh, we did get one more troll. And like I said, I just grabbed things as I saw them. <gasps> My favorite color. We got a green little girl to go with the blue little guy. Okay, look at these guys together. They're like besties. They're best friends. <laughs> I gotta fix their hair. Have I lost it? Probably. But are these things adorable? Absolutely. And if you've got little ones, oh, here's another fingerling. I knew I bought two of the fingerlings. And in this one we got, again, the thing. Oh, a little ring or another bracelet. Because adorable. And then this little guy, girl, is who? She's pink. Um, light pink. I don't know which one this is. Lana, maybe, but that's... A, oh, here we go. Her name is Peach. And Peach is 
popular. So we have a peach and we have this one. And I think these are adorable and they're gonna go on my pens for work. We have those. These are super fun and I know they go for more than a dollar at other stores. Now this is a Barbie Career mini dolls. Oh, it's a little bigger than a Polly Pocket. I guess she is a an artist. I love her hair color. What is she? I think she's an artist. It doesn't say, but doesn't that look like a paint palette? Like what little person would not have super fun? I know I would. Getting a bunch of these. And for a dollar, you can get them like four or five of the same. All right, Transformer comes with your card. Oh, how fun. I don't know which one this is, but look at that. Now, do they transform? I don't think so. That is Grimlock. I mean, these are fun. I know when I nanny, the little people love this stuff. This is a... Stretch Armstrong. Now, this is from when I was a kid. Stretch Armstrong was like all the rage. So you get a stretch or two. And he, I think there's directions. Yeah. Oh, you fling them, guys. Yeah, you do. Here's a hook. You put his hands in here. Pull his body back and he launches across the room. And then here's a target to shoot at. Okay, adorable. And you get two of the Stretch Armstrongs. This is definitely worth a single dollar. If you come across them when, you know, when stores reopen or if you have to get essentials and you see these, but you get two of these guys, a target and a launch little thing, that is well worth a dollar. We'll keep our directions for stretch. Okay, we've got oh, one second. Okay. My little pony. This is from Christmas time, I'm sure. It's the best gift ever. My little pony. Now this one comes in plastic. And you know what, too? I know we're not talking about Christmas. It upsets folk, but these would make great stocking stuffers. For sure. Okay. So in this package, it's a little box, which is adorable in itself. And you get... A little pony. Pretty little pony, no hair, no like soft hair. And then you get, this is Mrs. Dazzle Cake. She loves baking and holiday treats. Oh, that's neat. She gets her own little card. So they must put a card in with each person. But this is Mrs. Dazzle Cakes. Is she not adorable? Yeah, she'll be sitting on my desk. Better keep her card with her. And then there's this one, which is Monster High. And I know these were going around before, but this was new at my store, or they just found it. And this is all stuff I've been collecting since, you know, before um, the quarantine started. But I feel like I've collected one of these before. I give them away to the kids in my life. But the fun thing is these lockers snap together and you can stack them like honeycomb shape. Um, you get her card or their card in here. And look, it's a locker because it's monster high. <gasps> okay, that's adorable. Who is that? This person. You get the little sheets to collect. is um ragdoll ghoul i guess oh wait no it's a halloween ghoul she's right here 
But how fun is that? I don't know anything about Monsters High, but I know that's fun. And she can just sit and she has her own little locker. So that one is fun. We just have a couple more. Let's do Jurassic World. So it says that for ages three and up on some of these. So you want to know your child if they're going to put things in their mouth. You want to avoid that. Okay. Oh, neato. Oh, and his little tail moves. That's a great detail. And this one is Stegosaurus. Yeah, this is a Stegosaurus. And it tells you on here. Yep, Stegosaurus. And you can mark them off. But I love the tail is hinged. Like, that's a great detail for a little toy for a child. You know, they can manipulate it. And what guy doesn't like dinosaurs or girl? And this is the last. It's Bendy in the Ink Machine. And this is age 14 and up. I had to ask a friend what this even was. And they to told me it's a video game, I guess. Okay, so you put them together and it's a little... Some, oh, it's like a Lego. Okay, I'm not going to build it, but it's another Lego guy. And I don't know which one you get, but you got to build them. And it looks like we have Searcher. That's the one that's in here. It's the Searcher. And they put it together. And I think this is for your older children, but they like Christmas stuff too. So here's his body. And then you have to build them. And he's Lego pieces. So I think that's a lot of fun, guys. What do you think? If you're out, if you have to get out and do your essentials, and you're in the Dollar Tree, yeah. Oh, wait, we have one more. And if you happen to see this stuff, I mean, I think that's safe to say. You can just get it. This is Mystery Lip Balm, which we all know how obsessed I am. Collect. And there's all those flavors. And we got the yellow. And it is weird. That doesn't smell good at all. Cotton candy. That does not smell like cotton candy. It smells like popcorn, but whatever. So we got some a mystery cotton candy lip balm. I'm gonna leave that on my desk. Now that comes in this, and that is everything. So I hope you guys had fun, like I did, opening up all these fun little things and seeing what are in the blind bags. If you have thought about picking them up for some kids in your life or at collectors, I think these are more teenage related. The Bendy, whatever this is called, Bendy in the ink machine. This is a teenager thing, but how fun are these? Especially for the little guys that are housebound right now or young, you know, tweeners. This would be fun to try to like launch it and in the backyard. But that is everything that we collected in all the blind bags. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!